Hello guys, welcome back to another Android Fragments tutorial. In the previous episode, we already learned about how to add a fragment directly into the XML file of an activity. So if you add the fragment directly into the XML file, it is not possible to replace that fragment at a runtime. So if you want to replace your fragment at a runtime, you need to add your fragment programmatically or dynamically. So the fragment manager class will provide all the needed methods to add or remove a fragment at a runtime. So here I am going to create an Android application that will demonstrate how to add or replace a fragment at a runtime. So we are going to create this application. This is a simple activity that contains two fragments. So this is the first fragment. The login form is the first fragment. So if the activity is started for the first time, I already start the first fragment. And if the user click the new user label, I replace the first fragment with another one. This is the registration form. So this activity contains two fragments. First one is the login fragment and the second one is the registration fragment. So now we are going to create this application. Okay, first we have to make some changes on the activity main.xml file. So open up the activity main.xml file. Change this one into linear layout. Provide an orientation for this layout. And draw it orientation into vertical. Now provide some background color for this layout. So Android background, specify some HTML color code. Okay. Now add a title for this activity. So add a text view with the smash parent height into wrap content. Provide some text and draw it text fragment demo and draw it text appearance into text appearance large specify a pure black color for this text and draw it text color into black color. Also align this at the center. So and draw it gravity into center. Okay. Now we have to add a container for the fragment. So if you add the fragment, if you want to add or replace a fragment at a runtime, you have to provide a container for that fragment on the layout file. So here I am going to provide a container for the fragment. It is a relative layout. So add a new relative layout. Specify the width as much parent. Provide a height of 300 dp. Now provide some ID for this layout and draw it id equal to plus id i name it as fragment container now go to the design now we have a relative layout on this layout now provide some margin at the top so android margin layout margin Sorry, Android margin top into 30 dp. Okay, now we have to add another text view. So if it is a new user, we have to add another text view for display the registration form. With this much parent height is wrap content text fragment demo change that one into new user
and change this one into text appearance medium also change this font color into another one gravity into center provide some margin at the top and do it margin top into 20 dp also we need an id for this text view so android id plus id reg user ok now we have the two text view and the container for the fragment ok now we have to create the two fragments the first fragment is the login fragment and second fragment is the registration fragment so here I am going to add a layout for the first fragment so right click the layout file layout folder and create a new layout resource file and I name it as login login fragment layout click OK ok now go to the xml file now here I am going to make the design ok now here I complete the design of the login fragment here is the design that contains two text view two edit text and a login button so I add an edit text two edit text and a login button ok now we have to create a class for this fragment so right click the package name and create a new java class I name it as login fragment and click OK extends this class using fragment override the on create view method ok and here we have to return we have to inflate the layout so inflator dot inflate provide the layout file r dot layout dot a login fragment layout provide the view group container one more argument is there false ok now we have to create our second fragment that is the registration fragment so first here I am going to create the layout for the registration fragment so create a new android layout resource file I name it as register register fragment layout and click ok now here I am going to make the design for this registration fragment ok now I finish the design of the registration fragment uh, this contain three edit text and a button ok now we have to create a java class for the second fragment so right click the package and create a new java class I name it as register fragment click ok extends fragment create the on create view method now inflate the fragment inflator dot inflate specify the layout register fragment layout container and false ok now we add two fragments into this application now whenever the activity is started for the first time we have to display the login form that means the login fragment so go to the main activity.java file 
there is no need of the options menu remove the code for the options menu so whenever the activity is started we have to add the first fragment so for add a fragment into this layout first we need the object of fragment manager class fragment manager equal to get fragment manager okay need an object fragment manager equal to get fragment manager now we need an object of fragment transaction I name it as fragment transaction equal to fragment manager dot begin transaction so now we have to add the fragment into the activity main.xml file we already add a container for our fragment it is the relative layout with id fragment container okay so fragment transaction and use the method called add so before going to add the fragment we have to create an object of the first fragment so the class of the first fragment is the login fragment so first we have to create an object of login fragment so login fragment login fragment equal to new login fragment okay so for the add method you have to provide two argument first one is the container for the fragment and second one is the object of the fragment class so first we have to specify the container r dot id dot fragment container now specify the object login fragment okay and finally we have to commit this transaction so fragment transaction dot commit so this will add the first fragment when the activity is started so now we have to create an object of text view so text view my name it as text view go to go to the activity main.xml file this is the registration layout registration uh, label with id reg user okay uh, we have to initialize initialize that particular text view so text view equal to find view by id r dot id dot reg user typecast this one into text view okay uh, now we have to create an on click listener for the text view so text view dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener okay here we have to replace the first fragment with the second fragment that means the registration fragment so here also we need the object of fragment manager and fragment transaction okay so here instead of add method we have to call the replace method so fragment transaction dot replace first specify the container r dot id dot fragment container sorry here also we need to create the object of the second fragment that is the register fragment register fragment register fragment equal to new register fragment and pass the object into the replace method register fragment and finally commit the transaction so fragment transaction don't commit this will replace the first fragment with the second fragment now we finish the coding now we are going to run the application 
Okay, now we have the application available on the virtual device, fragment demo. So this is the activity that contain the first fragment, the login fragment. So now I select the new user label. Now you can see, now the first fragment is replaced by the second fragment. That means the registration fragment. So this is how we replace a fragment at a runtime using the fragment manager class. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.